Hi, this is Teo from Puckerblocks.com. Today I'm going to show you the Uniball Eye Roller Ballpoint Pen that I use for drawing and also for my watercolor sketches. These are the three Uniball Eye Pens that I have. They come in different line widths. This one here is the fine, it's a 0.7 line. This is the micro, which is a 0.5 line, and the ultra micro, which is 0.38 and the design is pretty much similar except they have different colors different shades of uh, gray and black to differentiate between the line widths Uniball Eye is made by this Japanese company called Mitsubishi Pencil this is a company that makes a lot of other pens and what's so special about the Uniball Eye is this pen here uses waterproof and fade proof ink Inside is actually a liquid ink and it comes out from this roller ball point tape here and this is the ink system In some countries the Uniball Eye is known as the Uniball Vision Like this so Uniball Vision and Uniball Eye is the same and also they have variations when it comes to the tip as well So this is the roller ball point tip. They also have the needle point tip and there are some differences, some slight differences, which I'm going to show you later on. Let's take a look at the lines that it can produce. I'm going to start with the thinnest line, the 0.38 from the Ultra Micro. I'm going to do some slow lines as well as some very quick hatching lines. So these are the slow lines. This is really quite thin. And let me do some quick lines. So you can see that this thin line is not actually very dark so this is a 0 0.38 let me switch over to the micro which is 0 0.5 so this is much darker now and also it's a bit thicker as well and when you hatch very fast uh, it can retain the line darkness so that's quite good and finally, let me switch over to the fine, which is a 0 0.7. This is actually the pen, the line weight that I use most often because I like thicker lines. So this is the fine version. You can see also that it's uh, much thicker, 0 0.7. So these are the differences. The differences, um, the line weights difference is quite uh, slight that's only a slight difference when you jump from 0 0.38 to 0 0.5 to 0 0.7 I also want to show you the needle point this is the needle point and the needle point is a bit darker to me the line weight is quite similar to this uniball eye but when the ink dries I feel that the needle is darker maybe because it puts out a bit more ink but the line weight is the same just that the lines are a bit darker the reason why i have pens of different line weight is because the different line weights it makes it easier to give an impression of foreground versus background so with the thicker lines i can use it to draw foreground elements and the thinner lines i would just use it to draw background elements and it will give a slightly better clarity to the sketch when it comes to depicting subjects so right now i'm using the 0.7 uniball eye pen drawing a car it's not very accurate I'm not very good at talking and drawing at the same time but this is a 0 0.7 let me switch over to the 0 0.5 this is the micro the micro it's a bit thinner just slightly thinner so you might not see too much difference when you compare it to the 0 0.7 but the difference is there it's very subtle And lastly, I want to switch to the Ultra Micro. Ultra Micro is really very thin, and here you can see just how thin this is. So all these three pens 
the three different languages they will work together and when you do a sketch like this you can see that hey this this car here in the foreground it seems like it's a bit darker it seems like it has more contrast so it makes it appear that it's closer to you as compared to cars that have that as compared to this car that has the thinner line it appears that hey this car seems to be a bit further away and as mentioned this ink is waterproof so you can use watercolor over it it dries quite fast so after you finish sketching you can almost apply watercolor straight away and that is also one good advantage of this particular pen The Uniball Eye is an affordable pen that is good for writing as well as for drawing. The roller ballpoint tip is smooth on the paper and when it comes to drawing, the ink is waterproof so if you want to use watercolor over your line art, you can do so when the ink is dry and the ink dries pretty fast. Also the ink is fade proof because they use some sort of pigment liquid ink inside. So if you want to spray fixative over your line art, you can do so as well. When it comes to disposable pens, um, not a lot of companies put waterproof, fade-proof ink in their pens. So if you want to get one that is good for artwork, uh, I would say get the Uniball Eye or the Uniball Vision. So that's all for my review today. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, do so for more art product reviews, sketching tips and videos. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.